Hiya folks, welcome back to the channel for a quick but hopefully, you know, pretty good update here. And that is the fact that some strings for Final Fantasy VII Remake have just recently cropped up and been found on the Epic Games Store. So of course the Epic Games Store is a PC store, but as of right now, Final Fantasy VII Remake has not been released for other systems. So like I say, this is really the first sign that perhaps Square are actually planning on doing something outside of PlayStation for this game. So I did go ahead and have a gander over at the Epic Data website. This is a website that pulls all of the strings from the Epic Game Store backend. And as you can see on this particular entry here, we can see that there is a value for a save folder location for Final Fantasy VII Remake, along with some additional Final Fantasy VII Remake strings as well. So this is encouraging, okay? This at least shows that Square have been planning to do something with the Epic Game Store in terms of releasing the remake, but I don't want to get too excited just yet. We know that the exclusivity detail for the P deal, sorry, for the PS4 version of the game was for 12 months. It's possible during that time that Square were working with other store publishers such as Epic Games and were planning on bringing the game to the system at the end of that deal. But then they went ahead and made an exclusivity deal again with Sony for another six months for the release of Integrade. And as there's no mention of Integrade in these particular strings, it, it, well, it just makes me think it could be possible that perhaps this was an older set of entries that never came to fruition. But because they've only been detected recently, I tend to lean to the more hopeful side that this is a recent addition on behalf of Square. Now, we do still have that six-month exclusivity with Sony, which will bring us to the end of December. But it's very possible that that's when we can start seeing releases of Final Fantasy VII Remake on other systems, including PC. Now, some I think it was the last Kingdom Hearts release recently, was brought out onto the Epic Games Store, and it actually had its own exclusivity with Epic Games. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if we see something like that with Final Fantasy VII Remake. So when it does finally come to PC, presumably at the end of this year, or perhaps at the start of next year, that it will only be available on the Epic Games Store, which I know won't please a lot of you, as there's a lot of hate for the Epic Games Store out there online. But of course, they continue to try and build their portfolio, and I wouldn't be surprised if, like Sony, they are willing to offer a huge amount of money for massive games such as this one. You know, so many people are, are going to be really happy when this game finally starts being released on other systems. This exclusivity period with Sony has not gone down well at all, especially for Integrade. Having this six months exclusivity on PS5, a console that even now, as we come into the summer of 2021, is still elusive to so many people that would choose to buy it if they were actually able to do so. But alas, that is just not the case for many. So yeah, hopefully this plague of exclusivity for this game will soon be behind us. And eventually we're going to be looking for the release, the future release of part two. And I'm sure all of these deals will be right back with us and we'll have to contend with them again. But at least for now, hopefully we're going to be looking at the tail end of it by the end of this year. But anyway, folks, as always, please do share your thoughts down below. Have you played Final Fantasy VII Remake on PS4 or PS5 yet? And what do you think about all these deals that Square are making with Sony and presumably now the Epic Game Store in order to, you know, get a lot more money for having a more limited release? Please do let us know down in the comments what your thoughts are about that. Don't forget to drop a like on this video if you've enjoyed it. That really does help me because it just manipulates the YouTube algorithm and hopefully brings more people over to the channel so that they can enjoy the content as well. But have a great day, everybody, and I'll see you next time. Take care.